We've had enough of Meghan Markle, and the UK needs to take her back. One commentator claims that barely a third of Americans have a favorable opinion of Meghan Markle. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Unlock. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. Despite Meghan Markle's best efforts, including her carefully curated jam and state visit to Nigeria, one commentator claimed that barely a third of Americans have a favorable opinion of the Duchess of Sussex. According to a Newsweek poll, the Duchess of Sussex was liked by 36% of adults surveyed. Meghan was also unpopular at 24%, giving her an approval rating of over 12. Meghan's rating shows a stark drop from the poll conducted just three months ago, in February. Well-educated and very modern, Markle loves to talk about those mid-level achievements and accomplishments. But in the end, her greatest achievement will forever be becoming a TV star, David Christopher Kaufman wrote about the former TV Suits actress, explaining in The Telegraph. Windsor. He added, the problem with Markle is that she still believes in the power of her achievements long after she has stopped achieving. The commentator believes that opportunities for both Harry and Meghan will be more abundant in the UK than in the US. They are hanging out in Montecito exile in an expensive villa paid for by their father while they await their next arrival at the American Riviera Orchard. Perhaps it is time to return to Britain where they can really be useful, and where opportunities are open to them, Mr. Kaufman writes. By Harry's birth it had eventually become much more abundant. Harry and Meghan's decision to bring in a UK-based PR team reflects their awareness of the need to maintain open lines of communication with the British media, despite their initial reluctance to engage with tabloids. Meghan has recently hired new PR staff to help refresh her image with Charlie Gibson and Kyle Polia recently joining the office of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex as communications executives. Mr. Kaufman also writes that the pair's ambitious Spotify partnership led to them losing millions. Hours after it was announced that Meghan and Harry's deal on Spotify had ended, Bill Simmons, Spotify's head of podcast innovation, slammed the couple as dishonest. Meghan's new deal with Lemonada Media was announced in February, with the 42-year-old expressing her excitement at returning to the world of podcasting following the shock end of her deal with Spotify. The couple, who resigned from the royal family in 2020, have a busy 2024 with more content creation plans expected. The Duchess of Sussex is reportedly working on a show inspired by her new brand, American Riviera Orchard, which is set to celebrate the joys of cooking, gardening, entertaining and friendship. In contrast to his wife, Harry is set to launch a show focusing on his love of the US Polo Championship. Meghan launched her new brand on March 14, with the release on a new website and Instagram account. The mother of two also sent her first product, Strawberry Jam, to 50 US friends and influencers last week. Among those who received the urn were fashion designer Tracy Robbins and Argentine socialite Delfina Balkia. Meghan's former Suits co-star Abigail Spencer, who appears to be very close to Meghan, also posted a series of new snaps on her Instagram page.